Hi everyone, welcome back to Dreadlands. I'm Disturbing Puppet, and more specifically my Scarvax gang in Dreadlands, as you can kind of see here, most of the gang. So last time we checked out one of the uh, Glow Dungeons, and uh, it's called the Glow Hunt Mission, which we didn't complete because it seems like it's a massive investment of time to do that, and uh, there's no way to save it in the middle of it, which kind of sucks. Um, I kind of feel like that's a downfall of some... Um, some different kind of rogue lights and stuff as well that they have kind of these mechanics where I can't just jump in and play for 35 to 45 minutes or something, save it and leave, or an hour and save it and leave in the middle of something. It sort of automatically ends the run when you stop. Um, and I was kind of unhappy to see that in this. So even though we're kind of in between fights and stuff, I can't save it. So maybe I'm just missing something, but it seemed like there was no way to save it or do anything to kind of stop time progressing from there. But, uh, oh well. So we're just going to do maybe the next story mission here. So we've got most of my gang. We now have the uh, minigun, the hellion on my leader. We've got the auto shotgun on Navar, my golem. Shifty's still rocking his pistols. Tusky's still doing his thing. Tesla's got a little assault rifle kind of thing. Jason the Revenant also has a hellion. So we've got a couple miniguns. Kind of crazy. We're sort of the gang you don't want to run into, I think, at this point. Um, yeah, so we do have the story mission. There are no other side missions. I haven't seen any other side missions. We've blown pretty much all of our money. I don't have enough scrap metal to upgrade stuff. We've upgraded our tactics so we can maybe make some extra cards. Um, we've upgraded the base so that I can change upgrades for weapons. If I do that again, I can upgrade the rarity of weapons, which might be really cool. But I think what we're going to do, we're going to look for that next story mission and see how it goes. It might be a multi-part thing, but we'll see how it is. So out into the Frankian Hills. We've explored pretty well. Um, there are some high-level gangs kind of on the edge of the territory, sort of blocking us from going anywhere. Uh, if we see any encounters, I'll probably check those out too. But we've got limited time today, so we'll see what we can get done. Right, so contracts. A peculiar man named Tanner found his way to your hideout. He's asked you to help him recover his stolen glow delivery. In return, he says he'll deal with the gangs blocking the exits of your region. So we don't get much for doing this, so I'm assuming it's just going to advance the story and let us move to other places. So we're just going to head on down the road and see if we can find this. So level 6, I probably don't want to do that. Seems like a bad idea. We'll detour around there a little bit. Actually, I haven't been down in this part of the map, it looks like. Curious if there's anything here. Stuff does kind of pop up and disappear, so sometimes things will be in a place and the next time they won't. Okay, it's over there. I'm just kind of curious. Yeah, I'm still in Frankie and Hills here. I just haven't gone down this far. Blood Killers, level 10. There's the level 10 guys blocking us there. So level 2 rats, not a big deal. Little Hunter's Cabin. There is an encounter up here. Sometimes the encounters have been just free stuff, but other times they're fights. Uh, I'm going to see if we can get something free here. Hey, a trader camp. Good day there. Can I interest you in my wares? I've got it all. Knives, guns, knives and guns, guns and knives. No roses, though. Sure. I don't have any money, but okay. I don't know if I have anything I can sell. Trader camp. Okay, he's just kind of hanging out. Sure. I don't see anybody else around. It almost looks like an ambush, but all right. Guns. Yeah, I'm just carrying around a couple glow stims that I have. I don't know if I have anything else over here I could get rid of. Got some better armor as well. We've upgraded a little bit. Right, we picked up a repair kit for him. Yeah, we're in pretty good shape. I could potentially sell the glow stems, but I feel like they're worth way more than six bucks. 
And I've only got a dollar, so... Oh, well. Flame Pistol. I haven't seen that before. Perfect for a Dreadlands barbecue. Make your enemies nice and crispy. I haven't really messed with any of the flamers, but there are little flamers, flamethrowers and things. This is a small one. There's also bigger ones with a range of 8. This is a range of 6. Since we leveled up to Fame 4, there's been a lot more weapons and things available we could pick up. Yeah, nothing I can afford. Which is unfortunate. Just looking around to see if there's anything. Yeah, that looks like it. Okay, yeah. Fine. Wasn't a fight. That's fine. Would have liked some free resources, but uh, that's only happened, I think, once or twice. Most of the time, the encounters are just a fight against a random gang. Uh, I could go against the tribekin here, but it seems like kind of pointless. Well, it's not pointless. I'd get some experience and stuff. Where is my... Why is it showing this as being... I would have sworn it was somewhere else, wasn't it? My objective? I don't think it was here before I went in there, was it? Maybe they, like, grabbed the resources and then took it back here? Am I crazy? I mean, it seems like that's where I need to go. It's a scavenge mission. Is this that's not my story mission. Now I'm all confused. Yeah, it's like right on top of me. It's got to be that. I can't rotate the map or anything. Poison claws, level four, hanging out. Yeah, it's got to be that story mission. It's got to be there, but its I swore it was over here somewhere before I went in to check out that encounter. Okay, I mean, I guess we'll do it. It just, this doesn't seem to match either. Now it's medical supplies. <laughs> I don't need medical supplies. Let's just see if I go away and come back. Is it going to be something else? Still medical supplies. Yeah, I would have thought it would have been that description there. Let's just go wander off a little bit and come back. Alright, still medical supplies, fine, whatever. <laughs> now it's a scavenge again. Okay, fine. The Dreadlands is rife with abandoned ruins and long-forgotten underground facilities. Sometimes they contain pieces of old-world tech, glow, or other valuables. Two gangs encounter each other while scavenging and attempt to drive the other off and grab the loot for itself. Collect the loot and return it to your own start zone. Okay, I haven't seen a scavenge one before. Uh, you're too late, Tanner stuff is gone. Uh-huh, we'll just have a peek and decide for ourselves. Thank you very much. Dead Unity. Okay, that's my whole gang. I still could maybe expand it. I'm still not sure how the gang slots work, but oh well. Um, okay, I like the armor. This is decent. This is decent. This is okay. I can live with it, I guess. He's deploying first. So we've got to collect two loot. If it's like the other thing, as soon as you get two and get it back to your base, or your starting position, you win. So being fast is kind of good, and I'm really not a fast gang. So I'm going to have to put my fast people up front. Kind of beelining right for these. And then I'll try to throw down a bunch of lead in their direction to stop them. Is there only two? There might only be two. No, there's more. There's one there. So there's three, maybe four on the map. 
Okay, I only see three on the map. So there's one kind of off in the edge. Okay, Tusky, let's move you over. Tesla, we'll put you behind the tree. Jason, just walk forward with your minigun and shoot everything you see. That's kind of the plan. Got a really long range with the miniguns as well, so just set up for that. And Navar can kind of charge forward. Yeah, we'll just set up like that for now. Okay, I get to go first. Let's kill them dead. Okay. Got a shot there, We've got multiple shots. So far away, I can't even really see what the percentages are. 50%, it's like 50s. Can't quite make it to cover. I'm gonna stay back just out of range from them, probably, depending on what kind of weapons they have. And that's a hunting rifle, snarl tooth, another snarl tooth, hunting rifle. So they've got some decent long range stuff. I'm going to go ahead and boost. So that'll increase my chances to hit and increase my damage. I'm going to go for their leader because he's kind of standing out in the open. Even a miss should do something here, hopefully. Okay, I'm going to just instantly down him. Sure, that's fine. Definitely not a bad way to start. Got to move forward at least one. Just going to try to set up where I've got a couple shots. Who can I see? Okay, both of them. Yeah, let's see if I can drop another one out front. Ooh, all misses. 360% misses. What kind of crap is that? Navar, let's just have you run out here like a maniac. That's kind of what you do. It'll make everyone else a little bit harder to hit. But if I want to grab those crates, Shifty's got to get going. Uh, let's grab the full cover. Hope for the best. I think Tusky can grab stuff too. Kind of move him on up. At least if they come this way, I can try to do something about it. And there's also that crate over there. Tesla, I don't know. You're pretty far away. He's kind of my healer, um, dealing with people who are downed, getting some health back, that kind of thing. Take some cover on the toxic waste, I guess. But right here, I'm in full cover. How far does my Overwatch go? Not very far. Yeah, I'm just going to move up into cover. On two heals, three harm mushrooms at random location. If they end the movement on one, they get healed by two. So crazy explodey or healy mushrooms randomly around. Destroy. And we've got a doggo right there. You're trying to sneak in. The other dog's trying to sneak around. Toxic. Yeah, we'll just shoot him with the shotgun. The auto shotgun. 
So I pinned him and bled him, so he'll die on his turn. You have shots. I just go for the barrel. Can't see that barrel. Assuming I can't use my drain. Nope. Okay. I could take some long range shots here for him that probably aren't going to work. But it might pin him if I can hit him. Take an aim shot maybe and do that. Or I could save him and go with an overwatch, but that's honestly not even covering those barrels or the crates. So yeah, let's just see if I can pin this guy. Even if I miss, I might hit him and pin him. Okay, yep. So even on a miss, there's a chance I'll do some damage. So I fired a burst, one of the rounds hit him. He's taking cover. He doesn't want to move. Don't even necessarily want to waste a shot here. Let me see. You can't actually see him. Okay, tell you what. Go Adrenal Pump. It's going to increase my chance to hit stuff. Then I'm going to aim, and we're going to fire off a burst over here. Hopefully hit something. Okay, I guess I should have known better. I've got a mushroom right next to us. Okay, Jason, I'm just going to move up. Grab some cover. What can I hit? I think I'll probably just drop an overwatch. I can kind of cover the area, so if they move in on those crates, I can hit somebody. I hope. So I can move up and grab one. Assuming it'll be a free action. Could be wrong. Yep, that's good. Okay. Could just grab the other one. Or just run back into cover. I think I'll just run back into cover. I may want to head out that way. Kind of use the wall here as cover if I wanted to, or just inch my way there for now. No real great spots. I could kind of run down here and maybe try to come in, but I don't think that's going to give me enough movement to get there. I do have a movement boost with my injector. I think I need a, an action to actually be able to get into that. If I ran over here, I'm not going to, to get it. But I'm not sure Tusky can get it anyway. You know, him being a giant cyber boar and stuff. Lacking thumbs. Well, he could have thumbs. I mean, there's, there's all kinds of Mutants and radioactivity and all that kind of stuff. Who knows? Who am I to say? Like that's a bit close. But I'm going to go for it. Try to use the wall's cover, or maybe head over and check that out. Or maybe stop him from getting there. Um, I could go ahead and drop one of his actions. So I could maybe stop this Snarl Tooth from taking an action. Do you have any other humans? He's pinned. He's down. Is that it? I think that's it. Okay, I'm going to drop his actions by one.
Yeah, I figured he might have a card that would bring somebody back. I'm surprised he didn't use it before. But he comes back with only one health. And he's just going to take a shot. Swarming friendly cleanse fireflies. A move towards something, 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 one HP, something. Cricket wanders around and heals stuff. So these are wildkin, I think. So they have kind of a connection to nature, have some interesting nature abilities. I'm just big, and we have big guns. That's pretty much it, I think. Well, I'm just going to charge on in here, because I can. Navar, you can grab that. And then I think... Might want to drop an Overwatch. If somebody else can hit this Snarl Tooth. Yeah, I can't drain anybody. They're all too far away. Um, I've got the crummy shot again if I want to do that. We've got a 50% at him. How about we aim and try to go for him? Why is that out of sight now? I just warned you had a shot a second ago. Maybe it was because I, my cursor was somewhere else. Yeah. Well, that's irritating. All right, we'll try for the bad shot. See if we can just keep this guy pinned. Yeah, a little bit of damage, too. Jason can't see anything. I move up, you've got a shot. Fifty percent, let's give it a go. All misses. Sixty. Take a shot and then drop an overwatch. I think that's what I'm going to go for here. Just see if anybody can hit this guy with this dog. Or... Wow. I'm getting terrible luck with my 50, 60 percents. Well, I guess I'm going to have to just gun him down with Navar. I could just run back with Shifty. Yeah, I can make it to cover. Let's do that. So that's one of the two. So I'm assuming he's no longer carrying it anymore. It's kind of off from his icon. I could charge into close combat. Navar, let's just take a shot here. Do I want to boost it first? Yeah, I think we're fine. Okay, pinned him, got a bleed on him. So I could charge in to finish him off. Possibly. We could execute this guy that's down. I don't know what this mushroom is going to do. We'll either heal or damage any fighter. Ends their movement on the shroom by 2 HP. So you got to be on the shroom. Yeah, let's maybe stop him from getting to the shroom. Go for it. Nice. Okay, I'm going to give Tusky some armor. He's way out in front, so he's a good target. You can have a guy right there. Okay, Quicksilver Poison, I've seen that before. If I move, we start being poisoned, taking damage every turn. They really don't like Tesla for some reason. I guess because he's kind of my healer. Okay. 
Okay, he's healing more. So the, like the fireflies, maybe they're focused just on him, and they're going to keep healing him by one every turn. Which kind of sucks. So it might be time to give Tusky a bunch of combat drugs. Give him combat drugs and maybe set his tusks on fire as well and then hit him. Alright, Tesla, I'm just going to keep having you do the same thing. I don't think I can actually drain anybody. If I move up, I probably can, but then I'm kind of standing out in the open. You'll have to move for a shot. You'll have to move for a shot. Okay, let's go aim shot, try a few more here, see if I get lucky. No, all misses. Jason, okay, I've got a shot there. It is not great. Um, I'll take it anyway. 15%, sure. Let's hope at least something, even on a miss, there's a chance it'll do some damage, which would cause a pin. Maybe I should try to go the other route. Let's see if there's anywhere with a better shot chance. Looks like it's all 25%. Yeah, though it's kind of zooming out, it seems like things kind of freak out and stutter a little bit, even the music. Okay. 25%. Let's try that. Nice. Got some hits. Pin him. He's down to one health, but I didn't get a bleed on him. There's a chance my shots will bleed, which just didn't come through. So I could go around and shotgun. I could just whip out my axe and go chopping into him, because he's almost dead. Yeah, let's go with our axe. Oh, adrenaline pump. Nice. No shots for Shifty. We'll just come up into cover. Last guy's in close combat. He might have a way to bring somebody back, but I'm not too concerned about it. All right, Tusky, have some combat drugs. Tusky, set your tusks on fire. Now hit him. He's on fire and down. There we go. The Red Haze scavenged more loot than dead Unity and disappeared back into the shadows with their earnings. Well, I kind of kicked the crap out of them and then we took off. Track down, glow delivery. Return to Tanner in hideout to claim your reward. So that was a pretty easy little fight. You should automatically collect everything on the map. All right, medical supplies. Supply box we can open. Hopefully we get something cool. Um, I only got never reload. Level up my leader. That's it. Yeah, we'll go with the level up. Looks like it's on fire. Destroyed, even. One HP, one skill point. Alright. 
At this tier, we have one health, 20% bleed resistance for cyber enhancement. That's definitely not bad. Uh, after downing or executing a target, gain plus one movement until the end of the next turn. Doesn't stack. Um, that's okay. We are kind of slow. I typically shoot from range with him, though, and then I'm kind of aiming, shooting, overwatching. I'm not moving up a whole lot. I'm kind of staying at extreme range. Uh, even though this is a minus 10 at long range, I'm kind of staying back. Stalwart can no longer panic from broken morale and gains 20% pinning resistance. I've got a way to freely get out of being pinned, but it's only once per battle. If I can avoid being pinned when I'm shot, that helps. Getting pinned just loses me in action. I kind of like the even more health and bleed resistance too, though. Um, I am at 11, and I've got one armor, because we've got combat armor on. If I'd lean into just being super beefy... Yeah, I think we lean into being super beefy. Let's go that way. And I'm just going to quickly check and make sure nobody else got skill points, because it doesn't always show me. It seems like it's better than the first time I played. Maybe there was an update. All right. Okay, we'll head back to base. We will talk to Tanner, and then we'll also open that loot box and see what's in it. I think I'm only going to get 20 bucks. What the heck is that? Growlers, just wandering around. Okay. I really need a lot more scrap metal for my base, but I can either buy it or try to find it. I have to kind of go out of my way to sort of do some farming, maybe. All right, Tanner's over here. Let's talk to him. Seems we were too late. The globe was already gone. Hmm. Yeah, I just got word about the situation and a new location for you to search. Okay. So, again, track it down. Is that complete? So then the next one... So I'll pull some strings and make the border guards go away as an advance payment on our deal. Hmm. You should get going. Good luck out there. Track down the glow delivery again. This time I get some glow and some cash. All right, let's check out the uh, box we got. Actually, make sure nobody was carrying anything. Yeah, you got the supply box there. Well, you still have it. You shouldn't have that anymore. Is that... that? Is that another one? I can't seem to be able to move it for some reason. Okay, let's close this first. Sometimes weird things happen looking at inventory. Okay, so I've actually got two supply boxes. Make that three supply boxes. Okay. How would you open in your workshop? Lock. Okay. Ammo pack. That's yeah, mediocre. A bandage. That's also mediocre. I think I've got some extra ones. And what is that? USB stick. Well, it's used to store important data like company trade secrets or pictures of cats. All right, some cash. Um, do I want to give anyone anything else? I think we're set here. We've got a way to stop us from being poisoned or burned. We've got a way to unjam a weapon. We've got a bandage. Got one reload. Similar kind of thing. Could give him more rounds. Shifty pretty much never runs out. Everybody's carrying a bandage. You've got extra bandages because you can heal with them. 
can deal with different situations. Yeah, I mean, I could potentially grab some extra ammo on the VAR, but that's really about it. I guess I might as well. I'm not doing anything else. So I can reload a couple times with him. And the bandages, I think I'll put in the stash. So we actually have a stash of like extra stuff I don't need over here. I think I've already got some in there. Yeah, I've got one. I've got a few other weapons and things. Nothing too fantastic. And sell off this stuff. Potentially, I have some weapons I could get rid of. The Thrasher, I should probably go ahead and sell. But it depends on who I pick up as far as a gang member. They start with kind of crummy equipment, so having a variety of options. This is a shotgun, um, kind of an automatic pistol, hunting rifle, both kind of upgraded. The basic hunting rifle, I guess I really don't need if I've got the upgraded one. So I guess, yeah, the hunting rifle, let's sell that off. At this point, I kind of need cash. We want to expand the gang. We want some cooler weapons and armor. All right. Sell off the junk. Seven bucks. That's it for the hunting rifle. I guess I'll take it. I could turn it into metal scrap, though, too. Seven bucks isn't bad. Yeah, I'll take it. Nothing here I really want. Nothing. This is like fantastic stuff. It's all beginner basic stuff. Yeah, now that we've done that, we might have more side quests and things pop up at some of the other settlements, but I'm not sure. I've checked a few times with them, and they just haven't come up. So I'm kind of curious to see. But yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Um, I'll check independently just to kind of see if there are any other side missions. I kind of doubt it. I think we might have to go up in fame before anything else happens like that. Um, but we're kind of moving along in the story missions. It looks like now we can actually leave the uh, Franklin Hills, or Frankian Hills. So those other gangs should be out of the way. So if I wanted to move out into other areas, we can. But even here, I'm seeing like level six stuff in this area. All right, so uh, this has been more Dreadlands with my Scarbacks gang, the Red Haze. I've been Disturbing Puppet. Thanks for coming by. Hopefully I will see you all again next time. Have a good one.